Okay, Megan, it's 610. I think we're ready to go. Okay, thank you, Amy. Good evening. The Florida Department of Transportation would like to welcome you to the public hearing for the US 441 resurfacing and safety improvement projects. My name is Megan Owens. I'm the department's consultant project manager. This public hearing is relative to state project number 443-592-1. Here with me tonight is Mark Burton Sini. He's the consultant project manager, and there are also several other members of the design team. At this time, we would like to thank any of our federal, state, county, or city officials who may be attending tonight. The purpose of this project is to extend the life of the existing roadway by repaving this segment of US 441 throughout the project limits and to improve safety along the corridor. The purpose of this public hearing is to share information about the proposed improvements and to receive community feedback. I will now turn it over to Amy to begin the presentation. Thank you, Megan. Before we get started with the presentation, I want to provide a quick run through of the many ways to participate in this hearing. For those of you who are joining on a computer, tablet, or mobile device using GoToWebinar, I'd like to show you how to access the, access the webinar options. To access the control panel on a desktop, click the small arrow on the top of the toolbar on the top right of your screen. If you are on a mobile device, tap on the screen to display the control panel. Once open, the control panel enables you to use the question box or download a project file. If viewing on a tablet or a mobile device, the control panel icons drop down at the top of your screen. The project files we have available for download include the comment form and project information handout, as well as a PDF of this presentation. To download a product file using a desktop, select the file using the control panel and the file will begin to download in a separate window. If you are viewing on a tablet or mobile device, click on the document icon on the top of your screen. This will display the files available for download. Click the download icon to the right of the file, file name to download a project file. At the conclusion of this presentation, Attendees who wish to ask a question or make a verbal comment will be given an opportunity to do so. For those using a desktop, use the question pane on the control panel to enter your name and request to speak. If you would like to speak and are using the GoToWebinar on your mobile device, click the question mark on the control panel to enter your name and request to speak. Written comments may also be submitted using the question box. For those of you participating by phone and only and not logged in using the GoToWebinar, you are attending in listen-only mode. To ask a question or make a comment, please call the project manager, Megan Owens, at 386-943-5140 or email at megan.owens at dot.state.fl.us. The project files and this presentation are available for download at the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 443-592-1. If you are not able to access the project website, please contact the project manager, Megan Owens, at 386-943-5140. Or again, her email is megan.owens at dot.state.fl.us. This public hearing is for the US 441, also known as State Road 500, Resurfacing and Safety Improvements Project. This public hearing is being held to present information regarding project plans on US 441 and to receive community feedback. Your comments can be received in two ways, written and verbally. Each method of submitting a comment carries equal weight. Written comments can be submitted using the project comment form or the virtual meeting question pane. Comment forms are available for download during the webinar and at the registration table for the in-person hearing attendees. At the conclusion of this presentation, attendees who wish to make a verbal comment will be given an opportunity to do so. For those attending virtually, use the question pane to enter your name and request to speak. For those attending at the in-person hearing location, 
please hand your speaker's card to any staff member present. This hearing is being recorded and the recording will be made available after the hearing. This public hearing is being held in accordance with Section 339.155 Florida Statutes, Section 339.199 Florida Statutes, Section 120.525 Florida Statutes, and Section 286.011 Florida Statutes. This public hearing was advertised consistent with federal and state requirements and is being conducted consistent with the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990. This hearing is being conducted without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, FDOT District 5 Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720 by phone at 386-943-5367 or by email at jennifer.smith, the number two, at dot.state.fl.us. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, FDOT Central Office Coordinator by mail at 605 Suwannee Street, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399, by phone at 850-414-4753, or by email at j-a-c-q-u-e-l-i-n-e dot p-a-r-a-m-o-r-e at d-o-t dot state dot f-l dot u-s. This US 441 project is located in Mount Dora in Lake County, Florida. The project begins 670 feet east of State Road 44 and continues southeast to six, 600 feet south of Lincoln Avenue for a total project length of 1.73 miles. The purpose of this project is to extend the life of the existing roadway by repaving the segment of US 441 throughout the project limits and improve safety along the corridor. The project will repave all travel lanes along US 441 throughout the project limits and widen turn lanes and shoulders. The safety improvements include adding pedestrian crossings at the three signalized intersections within the project limits, which are Country Club Boulevard, Wolf Branch Road, and Lincoln Avenue. Pedestrian lighting will also be added at these intersections. Sidewalks will be constructed to connect the existing segments and bus pads throughout the corridor. The project will also reconstruct all curb ramps to meet current ADA, Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA standards. In order to reduce the number of vehicle conflict points and improve overall safety, the full median opening at Pine Avenue will be converted to a directional median opening. Converting the median opening is a basic principle of access management which limits the number of conflict points along a roadway by minimizing the number of driveways and restricting certain movements at some intersections. Conflict points are places where vehicles cross paths and where incidents could occur. At a full median opening along a two-lane roadway, there are as many as 18 conflict points. Each conflict point is a location where a crash could occur. Adjusting the median opening to a two-way directional median reduces conflict points to four. Reducing conflict points helps decrease the frequency and severity of crashes, thus increasing safety for motorists. The intersection of US 441 at Pine Street is an existing full median opening. This project proposes to construct a median island in the intersection to change it from a full, full opening to a dual directional opening. Both left and right turns from US 441 onto Pine Street will still be allowed. Vehicles approaching US 441 on Pine Street will only have an option to turn right. This change will significantly decrease the number of conflict points at the intersection and will improve the safety of this intersection by reducing the likelihood of crashes. 
I will now do a full walkthrough of the improvements. Please take the opportunity tonight to review the proposed improvements and provide your comments for the public hearing record. Taking a drive along the project corridor, the resurfacing of the roadway will begin 670 feet east of State Road 44 and continue along the entire project limits. Along with the resurfacing, the left turn and right turn bays approaching the State Road 44 intersection on westbound US 441 will be lengthened. At the intersection with Country Club, Bo Country Club Boulevard, new cross rocks will be added on each approach. The medians on both sides of the intersection will be shortened slightly to accommodate the new crosswalks, and the median on the southwest approach from Country Club Boulevard will be extended to the new crosswalk. At the intersection with Wolf Branch Road or Lemon Avenue, new crosswalks will be added across all four approaches, as well as across the channelized right turns on US 441. The raised islands will be rebuilt as part of the resurfacing at the intersection. Resurfacing will also continue southeast of the intersection. At the intersection with Pine Avenue, the full median opening will be changed to a dual directional opening. Both left and right turns from US 441 onto Pine Street will still be allowed. Vehicles approaching US 441 and Pine Street will have to turn right. The pavement resurfacing will continue to the end of the project limit south of Lincoln Avenue. At the intersection with Lincoln Avenue, new crosswalks will be added on all four approaches. The median on the south side of the intersection will be shortened slightly to accommodate the new crosswalk. Due to the proposed improvements being constructed entirely, entirely within the existing roadway right of way, there is no right of way acquisition associated with this project. The current schedule of this project anticipates design plans will be completed in the summer of 2021 and construction is planned to begin in late 2021. The cost for construction is estimated at $3.7 million. There are several ways that you can get involved and provide feedback on this project. The verbal public comment period will begin immediately following this presentation. For those attending in person, Please complete a speaker request card and hand it to a staff member. You will be called to the microphone to provide your comment or question. After the in-person comments are received, those attending online will have an opportunity to speak. Please request, please request to speak by typing in your name and I wish to speak in the question box. The presenter will call your name and unmute your microphone when it is your turn to speak. Please remember to also unmute your microphone on your computer to speak. Those attending in person or online also have an opportunity to submit written comments or questions by completing a comment form, or for those online, typing the question or comment into the question box. This hearing is being recorded and the recording will be made available on the project website at www.vflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 443592-1. For those who are listening to the hearing by phone, and for those who may want to provide comment later, please contact FDOT Project Manager Megan Owens directly by phone at 386-943-5140, by email at megan.owens at DOT Dot state dot fl dot us or by us mail at 719 south woodland boulevard mail station 2-542 deland florida 32720 while comments are always welcome written comments received or postmarked by january 18th 2021 will become part of the public record for this public hearing each method of submitting a comment carries equal weight. This presentation, the comment form, and a roll plot of the design improvements are available for download on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 443592-1.
A recording of this hearing will be uploaded to the site within one week of the hearing. This website is available to keep the public informed of ongoing and future projects. You are encouraged to visit this website for updates regarding the status of this project. For additional information, please contact FUT Project Manager Megan Owens by phone at 386-943-5140, by email at megan.owens at dot.state.fl.us, or the Consultant Project Manager Mark Bertensini by phone at 407-839-4006, or by email at mbertonsini at vhb.com. Thank you for attending this presentation regarding the US 441 Resurfacing and Improvements Project. I will now turn the presentation back to Megan Owens to begin the public comment period. Thank you. If you would like to ask a question or make a comment regarding the proposed improvements, you will now have an opportunity to do so. As a reminder, all questions and comments will be addressed in writing after the public comment period has ended. If you have not registered to speak, you may do so now. If you are attending virtually, you can submit your name and state that you'd like to speak using the question box. If you are attending at the in-person hearing location, you can submit a completed speaker's card to the meeting staff. If you have not received a speaker's card and wish to speak, please raise your hand so that you can receive a card to fill out. If you would rather provide a written statement, you may do so. Written statements may be submitted at this public hearing or by mail to the Florida Department of Transportation office located at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida 32720. While comments are welcome to any time, any comments received by January 18th, 2021 will become a part of the public record for this hearing. All written comments should be addressed to me, Megan Owens. Comments may also be emailed to megan.owens at dot.state.fl.us. As a reminder, if you are participating by phone only and not logged into the GoToWebinar, you are attending in listen-only mode. To ask a question or make a comment, please contact me by phone or by email. We will now call upon those who wish to speak. When you have been called, please state your name and address for the record. If you represent an organization, municipality, or other public body, please provide that information as well, and we ask that you limit your input to three minutes. Okay, James Williams. Say my name. Yeah. Okay. Name yeah, James Williams, 1621 Edgewater Drive, Mount Dora, 32757. Really a question I had had nothing to do with per se, but we live at the Country Club Mount Dora, and then behind us is an orange grove, and then in between the orange grove and our property, F dot came and bought the property to make a runoff off of 441 going to this uh, lake. Um, behind our property. So we never got any word or anything about that. I'm just wondering if anybody happens to know what's going on with that. We thought that this would be part of it. We really didn't get any information about what was going on tonight until this morning. So might not be related, but that's why I put my name down just in case you happen to know anything that's going on with that. Okay, thank you. Okay, thanks. Okay, Amy, that's all the comments that we have for the in-person attendees. Okay, we have uh, so far one online that would like to speak, uh, Jackson Hurst. Okay, Jackson, you should be unmuted. My name is Jackson Hurst, and I live at 4216 Cornell Crossing. Kansas, Georgia, 30144, and I highly approve and support of uh, I highly approve and support the US 441 resurfacing project. Uh, 
from east of State Road 44 to south of Lincoln Avenue. The reason is resurfacing the roadway will improve the pavement quality and provide for a smoother ride. And I also love that you are adding new crosswalks at Country Club Boulevard, at uh, Limit Road and Wolf Branch Road, and at Lincoln Avenue. These new crosswalks will enhance pedestrian safety, especially for anybody who regularly walks along US 441 State Road 500. Thank you, Mr. Hurst. Um, Megan, that's all I have. Is there anybody else online that would like to make a comment? Let's see. I do have a question in the box from uh, Carrie Fisher. Uh, asked if this section will be three lane on each side. As a reminder, uh, we will be answering questions and providing responses in writing after the meeting. Looks like that's all we have online, Megan. Okay, thank you, Amy. The recording of this hearing together with all written materials received as part of the hearing record and all studies, displays, and informational material provided at the hearing will be made a part of the project record and will be available on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 443592-1. Thank you for attending this public hearing and for providing your input into this project. It is now 632. I hereby officially close this public hearing for the US 441 Resurfacing and Safety Improvements Project. Thank you again and have a great evening.